SpaceX has achieved many previously unthinkable milestones in space exploration, such as breaking the launch numbers record and successfully returning a rocket booster to Earth after launch. However, despite these incredible achievements, the company has yet to accomplish its most ambitious goal, enabling human travel to Mars. In fact, this is the very mission for which Musk founded SpaceX, to make life multiplanetary. Although humanity landed on the moon decades ago, we seem to have lost the knowledge and ambition to continue such feats. Today, even as several space agencies face challenges with lunar landings, Musk has announced something even more audacious. A mission to Mars. Before getting any deeper, make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. On September 7, 2024, Musk revealed on Twitter that SpaceX is set to launch its first uncrewed Starship missions to Mars in two years. This mission is scheduled to align with the next Earth-Mars transfer window, expected to occur around 2026. The primary objective of these uncrewed missions is to test the reliability of Starship landings on the Martian surface, which is a critical step toward achieving human exploration of the Red Planet. If these initial tests succeed, Musk plans to launch the first crewed missions just two years later, by 2028. However, achieving these milestones requires not only advanced spacecraft, but also numerous preparatory launches. To support these Mars missions, SpaceX will rely heavily on multiple variants of Starship, including a dedicated tanker variant designed specifically for in-orbit refueling. For every crewed mission, several tanker launches will be necessary to transfer fuel in space, allowing Starship to reach Mars and return to Earth. The exact number of tanker launches is still under debate. But estimates suggest that each crewed mission may require as many as 8 to 14 refueling launches, depending on the destination and payload size. Each mission to Mars will last several months, with a round trip likely to take around 18 months, given the distance and the alignment of Earth and Mars during their orbits. These missions will rely on Starship's capability to carry both crew and cargo, with life support systems designed for long-duration travel. The spacecraft will be equipped with private cabins, communal spaces, and protection against solar radiation for the crew. We have to understand that SpaceX's upcoming mission to Mars will rely on the Starship rocket, which, while demonstrating major progress, is still undergoing critical tests to become fully operational for interplanetary missions. Starship has completed four test flights so far, each providing invaluable data and moving SpaceX closer to its Mars ambitions. The first test flight of Starship occurred in April 2023. This flight marked a major step for SpaceX, as it was the first fully integrated flight of the Starship spacecraft and its massive super-heavy booster. However, this initial attempt was cut short when the two stages failed to separate after about four minutes of flight, leading to the spacecraft's destruction. SpaceX learned from this and attempted the second test flight in November 2023. This flight doubled the time in the air, lasting approximately eight minutes and successfully achieved stage separation. Unfortunately, the spacecraft broke apart before re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, leaving SpaceX to continue refining Starship's durability during the re-entry process. The third test flight, conducted in March 2024, was the longest yet, lasting nearly 50 minutes. This flight achieved several new milestones, including the opening of Starship's payload door while in space and conducting a liquid oxygen transfer demonstration. However, the vehicle broke apart during re-entry at an altitude of around 65 kilometers, indicating that further refinement is needed before Starship can achieve safe returns from space. As for the fourth test flight, SpaceX is targeting it to occur soon. In May 2024, SpaceX engineers completed the stacking of the Starship spacecraft atop the Super Heavy booster, marking a significant step in preparing for the launch. While the exact date is uncertain, Musk indicated that the flight could occur within the next few months, depending on regulatory approvals from the FAA, which is still reviewing the previous mishaps and conducting an environmental review. 
SpaceX has made several improvements to the spacecraft, including enhancing the vehicle's resilience during re-entry. While SpaceX is making history with its groundbreaking Starship rocket, Boeing's Starliner project has been filled with setbacks and complications. Boeing's Starliner mission faced numerous delays and technical issues before it even left the ground. On June 5, 2024, NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams launched aboard Starliner for what was supposed to be a brief eight-day mission, part of Boeing's crew flight test to validate its transportation system. However, problems began almost immediately, with helium leaks in the propulsion system detected before liftoff. Despite these early warning signs, the mission proceeded. After launch, things only got worse. Five of Starliner's thrusters failed as the capsule approached the International Space Station, and although most of the issues were resolved mid-flight, the cascade of failures gave NASA pause about the capsule's reliability. Starliner eventually docked with the International Space Station, but the planned eight-day stay quickly turned into a months-long ordeal. NASA and Boeing engineers spent the summer trying to assess the risks of returning the astronauts to Earth aboard the troubled spacecraft. After extensive testing and debate, NASA made the decision to prioritize astronaut safety over completing the mission as planned. Despite Boeing's insistence that Starliner was safe to return, NASA judged it too risky to bring Wilmore and Williams back aboard the spacecraft. Instead, Starliner was undocked and returned to Earth empty on September 6, 2024, landing at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. This decision left the two astronauts stranded on the International Space Station, where they will remain until early 2025, when SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule is scheduled to bring them back to Earth. The return mission will mark the 10th crewed flight for SpaceX, underscoring the growing gap between the two companies. Boeing's inability to resolve the issues with Starliner has left its astronauts stuck in space for far longer than intended, now integrating as part of the International Space Station RU and helping with various tasks while they wait for a safe ride home. This is not the first time Boeing's Starliner has run into trouble. In 2019, the uncrewed test flight was marred by software problems that prevented it from reaching the ISS, forcing Boeing to redo the mission in 2022. That second attempt also uncovered new issues, resulting in an enormous repair bill of over $1 billion. Despite these efforts, Boeing is still struggling to prove Starliner's reliability as a crew transport vehicle, leaving NASA increasingly reliant on SpaceX. In contrast, SpaceX has rapidly ramped up its operational capabilities. The company has been flying its Crew Dragon capsules since 2020, regularly ferrying astronauts to and from the International Space Station without significant issues. If you've made it this far, we've got a special surprise just for you. We're offering a highly realistic Starship model exclusively for our loyal viewers. Since you've stuck with us through the entire video, that means you're part of the loyal crew. So why wait? Head over and grab your own Starship model now. Thanks for watching our video. We appreciate your time and support, and we hope to see you in the next one.